days are getting longer, warmer and sunnier in my corner of the world. Ancient woodlands, so barren and brown from the dead grass and dried up fern only a few weeks ago, now burst into most luscious and rich green, with thousands of bluebells sprinkled between mossy trees. Carpets of green and blue illuminated by the golden sunlight prove once again that we live in a world so full of magic. These delicate flowers have many wonderful meanings, humility, gratitude and everlasting love. Standing amongst the sea of blue with old magnificent trees towering above my head, I can't help but imagine as if tiny fairies will soon come out to play. Though we often think of fairies as gentle, butterfly-like creatures, they are also playful and mischievous. The traditional lore says that fairies cast spells on those who pick or damage the beautiful, delicate bluebells, misleading and not letting an unfortunate traveler find their way out of the woods. Everything around looks young and dewy, you can't not feel like the positive change a life full of wonder and beautiful moments is about to come upon us. Humility and gratitude, perhaps that is a wonderful symbol to start the new season of life with. I am very curious to see how spring and summer in the countryside develops, as this is my first time witnessing this change being fully surrounded by nature. This opportunity to observe and notice every little tiny detail of life, that is exactly why I chose to live rural. I recently stumbled upon an outdoor market in the town nearby where I bought a few boxes of first seasonal British strawberries. I'm also growing two tiny strawberry plants in my garden, and though they are currently full of flowers and buds, it's too early for berries to appear outdoors. But it made me so happy to see local berries being sold at the market at this time. I made a strawberry cake, as you do, for the first time ever actually, as layered cakes are an endeavor I was always too scared to attempt. It turned out lovely, so I will share the exact recipe with you in the description.
even though I've become much of a homebody in the recent years, enjoying all the peace and calm a space of my own can bring, I've never confined the definition of home to the four walls. Home to me is in everything I do, both in a physical place of residence, but also in woodlands, fields, and dare I say, much of this country I live in. It's a space where I create, where I bake cakes for myself, and hopefully, eventually, I will feel brave enough to share them with my neighbors too, as, well, I can't eat all of the cakes myself. This is the place where I dream and grow and move closer towards the life I desire. It will never really be one physical place, because to me change and movement, past landscapes and old woodlands, safe space and comfort are all much needed to feel at home. But also this feeling that describes the sense of home might be different for everyone and Perhaps I'm sounding a little odd to you right now. That's okay, I'm pretty much used to it. I am beyond grateful that you chose to spend your time with me, listening to my musings. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.